Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. We're gonna be doing one of these every single day for the month of June and I hope that you have been enjoying these and uh, getting a lot out of them. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be compositing two different images. I've got this picture right here of a little baby lamb, a little baby sheep right here. And uh, we're gonna composite it with another picture, this picture of a lion. Both of these images were taken off of a free stock website called unsplash.com. And so you can go to uh, that website and download these or any other images that you are looking for. And so these are great to practice with. So what do we want to do is we want to composite this, uh, this lamb and we want to put it next to the lion. That's not something you would see in ordinary uh, circumstances. So I think this would be kind of fun. What I've done already before this tutorial started is I went ahead and cut the sheep out. And uh, so that was actually a little tricky because you had all of these different um, uh, elements on the, the fur and all these little fine details. So I went ahead and did that uh, before I started recording. But I've got this sheep right here and we're going to, um, we're going to uh, move this sheep around and we're going to uh, do some different things so it looks like it's actually in the scene. So the first thing I want to do is figure out where it's going to go. First, what I think it needs to be done is it needs to be a little bit smaller. This, this lamb is very small. This lion is very big. So I'm just going to make it a lot smaller. And I'm thinking about putting it like right on this lion's back. Like kind of like standing on his back, like right uh, towards the lower part of his back, but then uh, part of his uh, body is going to be behind the tight, the, uh, the lion's mane. And so I think that would be kind of cool to stick it about right there. Um, and uh, I th we'll just, we'll stick it right there. And I think that'll be okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, just erase parts that we don't need. So this part right here is going to be very easy. Uh, so I'm just going to take a black brush and just paint right here because his leg is behind that knee. There we go. All right. So that was the easy one. Now let's do the hard one. So we want him to look like he's behind this mane. So I need to select this mane out and then I can mask it out of uh, the lamb. So to do that, there's actually lots of ways to do that, but this is the way I'm going to show you how to do that. And that's through a channel selection. So go to window and channels. And what you're going to do is while you're on the lion layer, we're going to uh, select a layer. I'm going to select the red channel here. You have different options, red, green, and blue. I'm going to select the red channel and I'm going to drag it down here and I'm going to make a copy of it. So now we have a red copy of this channel. And what I want to do is I want this main here to be as white as possible. I want it to be a pure white if I can do that. The best way to do that is to edit this layer, go to adjustments and levels, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the whites over until this mane is pretty much solid white, kind of like that. You don't necessarily have all the shadows in the eyes. They don't have to be white, uh, but we do want that mane to be as white as we can. So something kind of like that looks good. So hit OK. And then what you're going to do is you're going to control click this little box here on that red copy just like that. And now when you click off of it, we have all of these marching little ants that are going around uh, the mane. And so what we want to do is we want to erase part of this sheep where the mane is at. So I'm just going to get a black brush while these ants are going, and I'm just going to erase part of the sheep right there. So there we go. Now you can see our selection here where we've erased part of the sheep that uh, reveals this mane. Now there's still a little bit of work to be done, but that's uh, taken care of quite a bit of our work. Let's make sure we have all of this sheep erased where the mane is not where the mane is at. Okay, so now what I want to do since the uh, the sheep is behind the uh, the lion, I want to start working on the colors of the sheep. So I'm going to get a um, levels adjustment real quick, control alt and G on our sheep, and I'm going to make it a little bit more contrasty. So what I want to do, let's go ahead and bring our levels down kind of like this. There we go. Nice and dark. And uh, we're trying to match the, uh, the contrast and the sharpness and the darks of the lion below. So I think bringing down those midtones looks good. Let's also go ahead and bring up some of those highlights, just like that. Now it's very much contrasty. You can see before and after 
uh, how much contrast we added. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little shadow uh, where the main is at. So I'm going to get a black color right here and on a layer, I'm going to change this blend mode to overlay and I'm just going to paint a little shadow right on the sheep. There we go. And I'm going to actually do it one more time. Let's do another layer. Let's change this one to soft light. Let's see if that works a little bit better. I'm trying to make this sheep look dark right where that mane is at because he's, um, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a shadow where the mane is touching uh, the fur of this sheep. Okay, so that looks pretty good, except our colors are getting all kind of weird because when you do a black soft light or overlay on top of this, it just it starts to mess with the colors a little bit and it looks a little weird like that. So let's go ahead and fix our colors. One little trick I like to do when there's only one color in the scene and the main color that we have in here is uh, this brown color. What I'm gonna do is do a gradient map and then I'm gonna choose a brown gradient map. So this is a brown, uh, it's like a light brown. I use this gradient map quite a bit. And uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that blend mode to hue, just like that. And now it kind of fixes all these colors. Everything in the scene is pretty much the exact same uh, color. So next thing I'm gonna do, let's go underneath our sheep and let's make a little shadow. So I'm just gonna grab a black here change it to multiply, actually not black, more like a dark gray. And I'm just going to paint a little shadow right underneath this lamb's feet, just like that. And then I'm going to go to the lamb and I'm just going to erase part of its feet, make it look like it's kind of like in the uh, the fur of the, uh, the lion, kind of like that. It was standing in grass when I cut it out, so it's not a perfect situation, but uh, kind of make it look like it's you know laying inside of the uh, the lion's fur. So something kind of like that. I could spend a lot longer on this shadow, but I'm not going to do it. You get the idea. So there's the shadow of the uh, the lamb on top of the um, the lion here. Now we're just going to do a little bit of color grading here. I'm going to go ahead and do a levels adjustment on top of everything. I'm going to bring my blacks in like this, and I'm also going to bring my whites in like this. So what that's going to do is it's going to really lower the contrast on everything, the lion, the lamb, and everything else in between. Everything is going to be lowered in contrast. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back up. So I'm going to do a gradient map and then do a black to white gradient map, change that to multiply like that. Maybe not quite a hundred percent. And then let's go ahead and add a little bit of brightness back up and add a little bit more contrast. There we go. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of vibrance as well. So just bring those colors back. Sometimes when you add too much contrast, the colors just kind of get uh, lost. So that's, uh, that's pretty much what I've done here. Let me go ahead and recap our little uh, color grade that we've got here. First of all, I did the gradient map of the brown just to take care of those weird colors on the, uh, the lamb. Then we reduced the contrast and then we brought the contrast back in using a multiply layer and a brightness and contrast and then added some vibrance. So here's your before and after with that color grade. You can tell how uh, much more interesting it looks. Uh, that way. But I think uh, you know, I did, you know, I only did this in a few minutes. So I would definitely spend more time if I was doing this for a, a client or anything like that. Uh, but this is what we've got. This is a, a sheep or a baby, a baby sheep uh, sitting on the back of this lion and uh, a really cool picture, semi believable. And uh, I hope that you're able to take these tools uh, on your own and able to combine uh, different elements, different animals, different creatures, whatever you want to do, bring them together and uh, make it look realistic and have fun with your artwork. But guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope that you enjoyed this one. And uh, I will see you again tomorrow morning for another tutorial in this series. Thanks, guys.